Welcome back. In this part of the video, we are going to be going over some of the faith items. I told you in the last video that it's a big, wide category, so I decided to split it into two videos. So this is the first part of the faith products. So I'm going to start with uh, some tote bags that we have. The first one I'm going to show you is the Walk in Love tote bag. When I saw, first saw this in the catalog, I thought it looked like a gym bag. I guess you could use it for that, but it is a little bit small for that. It just depends on what you want to put in there. But personally, I think it would make a great gym bag. Uh, it has the little pockets on the sides so for you to put your water bottle in. And it zips closed. And it has a nice little zippered pouch inside. It has a little pouch outside and not to mention that it's a beautiful color and has this beautiful picture and verse on it. It says, he fills my life with good things, Psalm 103, 5. Another bag that we have, I have one of these as my Sunday school bag. This is the Grace, Mercy, and Peace tote bag. I have a picture of me filling it up with my uh, Sunday school stuff and then having it uh, on my shoulder. But this one, I think, is also very pretty. It has the same kind of color inside as the other bag was. It does have a pocket inside. And it has this kind of bottom, so it does fold out flat on the bottom, which is nice. Because it will sit up. Depending on what you put in it, it'll sit up. <clears throat> then we have this tote bag. We have a couple of tote bags that are like this. These are market totes. So these are designed to take to the grocery store. And the other one that we have like this is bigger than this one. But they both have this, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of a waterproof finish on the inside. Uh, so it's perfect for uh, if you don't want to waste plastic bags at the grocery store and you want to have your own bag. That's what these are designed for, but you could use them for anything. Pocket in here. Of course, our little tag. If you can see that, it says Mary and Martha. And uh, I like these for just carrying stuff around. Um, I use it to carry stuff to vendor events. So currently, I've been using it to carry the wall cross, which you saw in the last video. The uh, bags that I give to people with their stuff in it, like the, I don't know what you call those, shopping bags, I guess. And then some of the kids stuff I put in there and I haven't had any problem with that one but I will say the other one I had been carrying books around in it and it finally the handles finally tore out so I wouldn't recommend carrying things around in either one of those bags that are super heavy but uh, for carrying your groceries the grocery store they are really really good for that one other sort of bag like thing that we have is this and we have other ones of these, other uh, Bible totes, but this is the only one that I have. We also have Bible covers, but the only Bible cover I have has been discontinued. It opens out flat, zips on both sides. Now, this is just a bag, like a tote bag, to carry your Bible in. This is not going to fit on either cover. That's a Bible cover. But you, I don't have any books right here near me, but I do have a... Well, there went my glasses. I hope I don't step on them later. I'm just going to show you with this container. I have various things in it. How this works. And I suppose you could carry another book in here. I don't, don't know what other book. Oh, and now the zippers. Choosing right now to be difficult. It has never done this to me before. Until I'm trying to film zipping it. Come on now. There we go. So you just take your Bible or whatever and you just do it like that and you carry it. That's all it's for. But, I mean, you could carry other stuff in here, pens and pencils, and there's a pocket in here that actually has a, a little thing that snaps, so you can snap it. You can snap it closed. It has some pen holders or pencil holders. It has little mesh pockets down in here. You can put different things in. And the back covers open, they snap closed like that. 
And then it also comes with these organizers that, um, like, you could turn this into a pencil pouch and put other, like, little Bible highlighters and different tools in there. And this outside pocket snaps closed, too. So we also carry, I mentioned a water bottle earlier about putting it in that uh, gem bag. This is the water bottle that we have. Um... I think it's beautiful, honestly. It's absolutely beautiful, and it is perfect for people who are concerned about plastic leaching out into their water, because uh, it's glass, and uh, it has the silicone at the bottom. I've been told that the glass water bottle that we had before this one didn't have the silicone at the bottom, and that people were having problems dropping it and breaking it, so I have not done that. Like, when I was holding on to it, I didn't drop it. Now, I knocked I knocked the one off and broke it so it will break if you drop it and another tip don't drop ice cubes down in it from the top like this if you want to put ice in it put it in from the side and let it slowly go down to the bottom because I cracked the bottom of one of these by doing that this is a bamboo top with metal inside so it's a very very pretty water bottle and then we also have the filled with joy tumbler I was carrying this around, using it to drink out of for quite a while, and it got a little banged up. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's kind of a smaller capacity, and I was always refilling it and refilling it, so I was happy to get another water bottle, but the nice thing about this is that it does keep your beverages cold. I, I'm assuming it would keep them hot. I haven't tried it with hot beverages, but I think this would be better for like a coffee cup than it would be for the thing that you're drinking water from all through the day. And it has a nice little gasket there. Uh, it says not to put it in the dishwasher, although I feel like this part would be okay in the dishwasher, but I wouldn't put this in there because this is plastic. And it has that little thing that you can open it and close it. And at least it keeps the bugs out of your drink if you're outside. I think both of those are very beautiful, practical, not sure but i think they're at least very pretty um and this this does this fit in your cup holder in your car if anybody has that question it did not fit in my other car i haven't tried my newer car uh but i knew somebody that had one she said it fits in her car so it just depends on the size of your cup holders but if it doesn't fit in your cup holders you can get a little thing out on amazon that it will fit down in and then that fits in your cup holder Okay, so uh, one other thing somewhat in that category of things you can wear to show your faith. We do have a small selection of jewelry. This is the Good Things bracelet, and we do have a matching necklace that goes with this. And they're sold separately. But <clears throat> I think that's really pretty. It has this little chain with the cross on it. We have, like I said, a necklace like that. We have another necklace right now. And I think that's all. We had a bracelet, the um, loved bracelet, but it's out of stock. I don't know if it's coming back or not. We'll have to wait and see in January when we have our new product reveal. One other thing uh, relating to like Bible accessories, we do have Bible tabs. So I'll take them out of the package and show you. It does... When you first look at this, you're like, that's not enough. But there's lots of sheets in here that it, it is enough. I used this uh, set on my Bible, and it was enough. See how that opens out like that? And then there's another one that's like that. So it's enough for all of your books of your Bible. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit congested right now. We have stationery also. And I'll, I'll show you more of the other kind of stationery things in the next part of the video. But, oh, wait a minute. There's one more thing. I love this thing. This is the Strength Promise Bangle Keychain. So it goes around your wrist, which is handy depending on your situation. I, had surgery back in March on my foot. I was on crutches and being able to carry this like this when I was getting ready to come back into my house 
because I couldn't carry the keys in my hand and hold on to the crutches. But if you're concerned about there's being too much weight on your ignition, like my daddy always warned me about, you can take it apart. These are your strength promises. They got flipped around. Not sure how that happened. Hold on a second. See if I can get that straightened back out. Well, probably not. So I'll just take them off. Ah. Hold on. Here we go. Now I'll flip them back around. All right, so this is what your strength promises look like all together. Look at all of those. So on one side, it says a verse relating to you being strong. I command you be strong and courageous for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go, Joshua 1, 9. And so that's the front of that one. And on the back <clears throat> is a prayer relating to that verse. So this one says, Lord, whatever you command, you empower. Because you are always with me, I will be courageous. The next one says, the Lord gives his people strength. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 29, 11. And on the back, it says, Lord, being yours makes all the difference. Thank you for the gift and blessing of your strength and peace. So they're all different. Um, these would be really nice to just take one off and hand it to somebody that's struggling, having a hard time. Um, you can keep them. I've had these. Um, I used to have them clipped on my pocketbook, and then I had a, got a different pocketbook, and things changed. i uh, just leave it like that. And uh, this, the little tassel, you can unclip that and clip that on something else. And then you're left with the ring for your keys, and it even has one of these split ring uh, things on it, too. So, like I said, I really like that. Now, moving on to cards. We do have this set of postcards. I'm betting we're going to get some new ones in the when the new products are revealed. This is a set of 20 originally. This is uh, 19. I used one of these, but they're all they're repeating patterns. And then, of course, on the back, there's blank postcards. My Bible study, um, we one of the members bought a bunch of bought a pack of these. And we had a meeting where we just sat around and wrote postcards to people. So that's a good idea to do with this. Or just keep them on hand because you never know when you might want to write somebody a postcard. We do sell greeting cards. And so this is the card box organizer. You can get uh, three different ones. Um, the card box organizer looks the same. But you can get different uh, refill packs of cards to go with it. And it's $35, and you get to pick whether you want refill pack one, refill pack two, and so on. And uh, inside the box, you have these organizer tabs. Mine are, they get curled up, and then they want to fall down the other way. But you can see those are different categories. But if you take it and flip it around... You can also organize by month. And I have some cards in here. I do have birthday cards. So here's an example of a birthday card. I will tell you that the cards are a little bit on the girly side. Um, I did send one of these to a man one time and he didn't say anything, so... I assume he didn't think it was too girly. All of them that you'll get in the card pack will be different. They won't, You won't get two identical cards. I think I have, let's see, thank you cards. So here's one of the thank you cards. And they are definitely day spring quality because they're day spring cards. And I'll tell you, you can get these cheaper with Mary and Martha than you can get them at Walmart. I was in Walmart one time needing to get something ASAP for uh, to, to take to Sunday school the next day because somebody had died and we were going to send a sympathy card. It was $4.99 for one card. 
Ours are, if you just buy the refill pack and you don't get the card box organizer, it's $15 for eight cards. So it is definitely cheaper to get the cards from us. And yes, you like I just said, once you get this and you run out of the cards that came with it, you can order new cards and you can order different cards. You don't have to order the same packs you get it the first time. So that's all I'm going to show you in this video. The next video will be books and some more, um, more ways of sharing your faith.